Hey guys, what's going on? It's Argon here today, and as many of you guys know, the Call of Duty World War II Private Beta started a day early today, which means that everybody's been getting their hands on it, getting in there, getting dirty, having a good time. Hope you guys have had that fun too. Hopefully you had a chance to get into it. I know there were some issues getting into it, but either way, uh, I've been watching a lot of people playing. I played a little myself. One thing I saw that people, somebody said in somebody's chat on somebody's stream, <laughs> was that, does Quickdraw really do anything? So some people were having this gut feeling that maybe Quickdraw really wasn't doing anything, so I thought, you know what, let me go test it out. So what I did was I went into a game, and uh, my apologies to my teammates, I ran into a corner and started shooting a wall uh, just to do some testing, and what I did was I took the PPSH, in the M1941, and what I did was I went and put one class that had the quick draw attachment, one that did not for both weapons. And then what I basically did was aim down sight, and I recorded the time that it took to aim down sight to go from a non-ADS position to a fully ADS position, and I slowed it way the hell down so you guys can see the results right here in front of you. So what you guys are seeing in front of you is the PPSH on the right side with the quick draw attachment, on the left without the quick draw attachment, and as you can see, the full ADS time it takes for the quick draw attachment on the PPSH is 70 milliseconds or seven hundredths of a second. Uh, for the non quick draw attachment, ADS time is 110 milliseconds or 11 hundredths of a second. So that's about a 37% reduction in ADS time. So what you guys see in front of you is the M1941. With right on the right side is the ADS version. On the left side is the non ADS version. And I timed it again, and, and uh, I started the timer a little bit early, but you notice that the weapon starts moving at 110 milliseconds, and the quick draw version takes a full 240 milliseconds, which is in reality 130 milliseconds to go at full ADS, whereas the non-quick draw version takes 160 milliseconds to go to full ADS. So that's actually a 30 millisecond reduction, which is about an 18.5% reduction in ADS time. It's a much smaller effect on the rifles as it, is, as it is to the SMGs. And that's all the testing I did currently is just on the PPSH and this M1941. That's all I got my hands on. But I saw somebody say that, so I said, is there some truth to it? So yes, definitely there's less of an effect on the M1941. So take that into consideration when you guys are setting up your weapons. Again, we're going to get some more into this more details about what's going on in the beta, how the game's working, mechanics. We're going to go into more depth probably. What are you guys interested in seeing? Have you seen anything that sounds weird? Let me know what you guys think below. What would you like me to dig into? Do some testing maybe? How are you liking the beta so far? Just let me know what you guys' thoughts are. I hope you guys are really excited. It's going to be a long weekend. Another weekend coming up, following up. So just get in there, have some fun guys, and let me know what you think in the comments below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. And if you're not following me on social media, all the links are going to be in the description of this video. And as always, guys, my name is Argon, and I'll see you next time. Peace.